Good work. Nice to see I haven't lost my intuition for people. Not many would have managed to set out to the Stolen Lands and return with the Stag Lord's head, but I knew you could handle it. Congratulations are in order. Today, you'll receive the title of Baron before the High Society of Restov, and even Natala Sertova personally. God's bless her. Tomorrow, you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands if you wish, but this time as a ruler. But matters of state can wait. For now, enjoy this feast in your honor. All the city leaders are here. It's a great opportunity to make some useful connections. Speaking of connections, let me introduce you to Kassil Eldori. He's my adopted son and apprentice. He's a trustworthy man. I'd like to send him with you as an envoy. Yes, yes, you certainly have that right. But tell me, how well do you know Brevoy's history or the current political atmosphere? It won't be an easy explanation. What's now called Brevoy was originally two different countries, Rostland and Isia. Two hundred years ago, they were stuck in constant squabbles. Then, Coral the Conqueror showed up and united the two states into one. Such diplomatic tricks are easy to manage when you have dragons at your disposal. The so-called noble houses of Brevoy, mainly Sertova, Orlovsky, and Lebeda, once ruled over Isia. We, the Aldori, ruled Rostland. The royal house Rogarvia, founded by Coral the Conqueror, forced us into obedience. But 200 years isn't long enough to make peace with such a troubled history. Even 2,000 years wouldn't be enough for us to accept Isian rule. Brevoy is a country held together by a thread, and that thread grows ever weaker. We, the Aldori and the great noble houses, spent 200 years under the rule of invaders, the royal house Rogavia. We plotted, we schemed, we stabbed each other in the back. But open confrontation was out of the question. But a few years ago, house Rogavia disappeared. No one knows how or why, 
But one day, their manners were just empty. And the force that held Brevoy together, that kept us from a bloody feud, ceased to be. Brevoy is currently ruled by the House Sertova, the former kings of Issia. But their power pales in comparison to that of House Rogarvia when they were here. So now, Sertova and Aldori stand facing each other, staring each other in the eye, waiting for the other to draw their sword. It's an untenable situation. No one wants a civil war that would drown Brevoy in blood. But peace between us is also out of the question. Rustland wants to regain its independence, and we will regain it. The power the Issians hold over us is humiliating and costly. And the Sertovas won't give us our freedom without a fight. That is, unless there is some external power that can force everyone to sit down and talk. Do you see where this is going? The Stolen Lands are disputed territory. Brevoy can't appropriate them without raising protests from each of the neighboring states. However, if some brave people were to found independent states on that land, it would be another matter entirely. My hope is that you and your future neighbors, Baron Hannes Drelev and Captain Mager Varn, will become our allies. But even your neutrality would introduce a powerful counterbalance to the aggression of the noble houses. Maybe, with your help, the inevitable division of Brevoy can occur without too much pain. We hope to get some help from the Maivani Aldori, the descendants of the Sword Lords who have fled from Coral's rage to build a new nation in the south. But the Issians know this well, and are doing everything they can to deny us this help. I won't go into details, but if my intelligence is correct, if a civil war starts in Brevoy, Maivan will be too occupied with its own inner troubles to interfere. Restov is a free city, proud of its independence from everyone, including the Aldori Sword Lords. But when it comes to Rostland's liberation, our goals align. This whole plan is our joint creation with Lord Mayor Yosef Selimius. Actually, she could still intervene and disrupt the proceedings, but she's a Sertova. Their games are always complex and multi-layered. They're always looking for ways to turn defeat into victory. If she's decided to allow you to become a Baron, it means she already has some idea of how she can turn it to her benefit. Let's consider how she could do so. Maybe she understands that Rostland will inevitably separate and she doesn't want a war. In that case, new states in the Stolen Lands give the Issians a reason to sit down and talk without losing face. But that's an optimistic view. And truth be told, it doesn't quite match up with what we've come to expect from the Sertovas. The more likely scenario is that Natala wants to win you over to her side. If war breaks out and at least one of you stabs us in the back, Rostland will be surrounded by enemies. That might be enough to bring about our downfall. But you would fall first, and your newly formed states would be left in ruin. The Issians always like to have someone around to pull their chestnuts out of the fire for them. A piece of friendly advice? Don't do business with House Sertovas, no matter what promises they make you. Any deal with the noble houses is a deal with devils. How should I know? We're in the middle of a big game. And today, you move from being merely a piece on the board to being one of the players. I hope you have a better understanding of what's at stake. Of course, Keston gave me a full report. You dealt with the scoundrel perfectly. It would be naive to think that none of your neighbors will try to stick their hands in your affairs, <laughs> especially that sly fox Irovetti. Don't think I'm trying to impose a nanny or a spy on you. We're neighbors now. You'll need someone knowledgeable about Brevoy's politics to act as an ambassador to your court. 
If you don't like Cassiel, you're free to choose someone else, but I won't be able to vouch for the loyalty or trustworthiness of another envoy. Enjoy your evening. When you're ready for the official part, come to me.